best way to think about humility, the virtue of humility, is to think about the vices that are contrary to it. Pretentiousness, snobbishness, smugness, envy, arrogance, vanity, conceit. And so, for example, we might, um, we might analyze the notion of snobbery. Enjoying the glory of being, of being a member of some superior group. What one is feeling there is a kind of triumph or a kind of uh, joy about one's superiority through being a member of this elite group. That goes against uh, a Christian notion of humility, our existence as being given to us by God, being given to us in such a way that we are all ultimately equals in His sight. And when we're snobbish, we are in a way denying the equality that we have with others. We're denying that they are just as valuable in God's sight as we are. Thinking about uh, other human beings as um, as inferior to ourselves. The virtue of humility would, in this case, it would be a matter of not being snobbish, of uh, looking at other people and not feeling any particular, anything particular about the differences between their social group, their university, or their, their lack of a university education, and our own. Well, first, you could uh, learn to recognize this, uh, this tendency in yourself and to recognize moments when you're feeling this kind of uh, joy and superiority uh, or you're sharing, perhaps, uh, your, um, your superiority with other members of your elite group. That would be a, a first step, just to, to recognize the, the existence and the nastiness of this tendency in yourself. But then, once you've recognized it, you can combat it by uh, reminding yourself of uh, everybody's creation in the image of God and the fact that God respects all of us uh, equally, just insofar as we are His children. We are expressing humility when we sincerely admire another person. When we uh, look at that other person, we see the excellent qualities that he has, perhaps excellent qualities that we lack. One can actually practice uh, uh, admiration. One can, one can uh, undertake a discipline of admiring uh, qualities in people. And so if there's somebody you, you feel superior to in some way, you can counter that uh, tendency or that feeling by making yourself stop and ask, asking yourself, what qualities does this person have that are admirable? Perhaps qualities that I lack. Maybe this person is um, fresh and enthusiastic, whereas I have become kind of cynical and negative. Perhaps the person is creative in spontaneous ways that I am not. Perhaps I am a kind of stiff person. If I'm, if I'm feeling in my snobbish way, I may not like to acknowledge the excellent qualities of this person. And yet, uh, there probably are excellent qualities. And if I were just to uh, focus my mind on them and pay attention, I would see them. And I think that when we, when we do that, when we see the, the excellence in another person, we're in combat then against our own vice of pride.